Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 on Thornton Farm. So today we've got one primary job to do and one which we're going to carry over onto next week's episode which is going to be baling. But first of all we're going to start off by creating some firewood which seems a bit bizarre but this is a mod which has been around for a while and just really want to give it a go. It's I don't know how long it's been out for, I think late 2014 or something. But yes, I've brought the telehandler. I don't know if we need it or not. I don't think we do. But yeah, just in case we do need it, I've brought it. Now basically, the firewood mod allows you to obviously cut up uh, trees into log-sized shapes, like um, a meter long or something. And then you can basically sell them. So you can see, now I've got my chainsaw out, like a little... Um, a little box has appeared under the time and this is the amount of logs in weight and volume we have actually gathered from the trees. Now the first one I wanted to do this with was the log over here which we cut down yesterday and it was just sort of surplus to requirement. I couldn't fit it onto I couldn't fit it onto the shredder to actually chip it into the trailer. So yeah, it needs to be dealt with and I think the best way of dealing with it is with a chainsaw again, we might as well just log it up. That is the best thing to do. Now, like I said before, I don't know if we do need the telehandler. It either palletizes them, and you can pick them up with the pallet forks, and you can go and sell them at a sell point somewhere, or it actually converts them into wood chips, and then you just basically go and uh, fill your trailer up from the wood chip sell point and sell it that way. It's one of those two ways, I'm not quite sure which way, uh, so we're just going to have to give it a go here. But essentially, what I think what you do is, yeah, you left click and then it appears. It says pallet one, firewood, zero kilograms. And it's also got the price there of £180. I'm guessing that is for the, the pallet. Um, but yeah, when we walk to our right, you can see how long this is going to be. I think I'm going to do this in metre length. So it's going to be roughly a metre each time. It doesn't have to be exact. And so far, we've got 37 kilograms of wood. That obviously isn't too accurate, but it's still a, a good idea. And we basically just keep going until we fill the pallet. It's a bit too long. There we go. Can we get another one? Yeah, we can. And yeah, quite a lot of, uh, there's going to be quite a lot of relatively thin ones here. But, oh, it's actually deleted the rest of it. That's fine. So just there we have got 168 kilograms on pallet one. We're now going to cut down another tree. Doesn't matter what tree you go for, it'll add it to the same pallet. I think the type of tree which you cut down also does affect uh, the, the price you get for it because of the weight obviously. Pine is a very light wood, uh, which is what this is. So not really getting much for our money here. Come on, fall. Yeah, there should be a lot of wood here. So yeah, it's kind of messed up the, the base there, so we'll do it again. If we start from here. There we go. And each pallet has a capacity of a thousand kilograms, which is a ton. We can do these longer. I think the maximum length you're allowed is two meters, I think. Obviously, we don't want it too much over two meters. A pallet is usually about 1.2 meters in length. As you can see there, our pallet is getting quite full. We've not got much further to go. About 60 kilograms left. Very close, 15 kilograms. And there we go, that has actually gone straight onto pallet two. Automatically started that. Uh, do we have anything left here? No, that is it. So, as you can see, it now says sell firewood by pressing R on the keyboard. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna get paid for it instantly. This is gonna be quite interesting to see, so watch the money. Okay, we did get paid for it. 
and also we got I think 1017 litres of wood chips added to the silo. I'm guessing that is what has come off the chainsaw. So not only did we get paid instantly for the wood, like instant cash, we also have the, the wood chips as well, which is actually worth a lot of money. The wood chips are worth like a small fortune if you have enough of them. If we go here, yep, you can see that, 9,283 litres. That was roughly 8,200 before. So really, we have, just from chainsawing those two trees, we've made about a thousand pounds. That is quite incredible. So let's continue. Uh, this has obviously been all logged up, so we'll leave that there for now. Uh, there might be another side to this mod as well. There might be further things you can do, but this is the first time I've used it, so really, I'm just sort of learning from scratch here. If you've used it before, which I'm sure you will have done, uh, please do give me some tips on it. We'll do one more pallet, and then we should be able to afford the rake to begin the baling with. I've been kind of leaving off the baling because we've been uh, doing quite a lot of it recently. But even the offcuts there, we're going to get paid for. 44 kilograms, it's already calculated. It's pretty good. Oh, this one's a roller. Oh, how do you change a tree when it's not rocking? Yeah, so essentially what I'm going to do here is just skip ahead until we almost fill the pallet again. I won't bore you with the constant chainsawing. Uh, so yeah, see you in a second. There we go, we are very close to filling this second pallet. It still says pallet one, that's because we stopped. Ah, oh, two kilograms more. There we go. So, once again, let's just sell this. Another 371 pounds, and again, another 1,033 litres of wood chips added. So again, we, we've already made probably two and a half thousand pounds here from playing with a chainsaw for 10 minutes. That is pretty good pay, it has to be said. Uh, but yes, we'll probably come back to this at a later date. I don't want to keep boring you with the same thing because obviously we need to diversify the jobs. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that mod. It's quite an interesting thing. And I haven't actually seen it before. So yeah, definitely worth looking at. So back into our Massey Ferguson. We'll put it into gear one. Still got the jumping wheels. So yes, it turned out that we didn't actually need this, um, unless of course I'm missing something with that mod, but I think I've got the general idea there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the yard and I need to get the Massey Ferguson tractor going with the Marshall trailer and basically we need to see if we can afford the medium sized rake because the smallest one is a bit too small because this map has got some relatively large fields and we do need something a bit bigger than just that really small coon so I'm just going to double check and see what price it is it's 32,000 so we're actually not too far off we're about, what is that, 6,000 £6, pounds off so yeah, we need to we need to uh, just generate a little bit more money so I think the best thing to do is to actually sell those wood chips which we've just produced uh, just to sort of bump up our profits there add some more money to our bank account and buy the rake and begin bailing. It's a job which has to be done. I know we've done quite a bit recently but once that field has been done we'll have loads of bales and we'll be able to sell some for money, we'll be able to stack some of them in the yard for our livestock and then we'll be able to work on the field again. It's going to need spraying which I know we do also quite a lot. I might do it off screen actually. There have been some fields on Knaveswell which I have done off screen just to save you from watching every single session of spraying because there is a lot of it with soil mod but either way it has to be done it's all part of the realism yeah the Massey Ferguson was just sort of a get about vehicle because I'm not teleporting on this map And we're going to part this up. We're not going to use this again today. We've got no need for it at all. And 
Okay, so that's parked up. Just notice we've got a front weight there. If I ever need one, I'll have to remember it's there because knowing me, I'll just go and buy one. That's what I tend to do, which is a bad habit. Uh, but yes, the John Deere will be required for the rake and the Massey Ferguson is going to be used right now for the um, selling of the wood chips. Now actually, thinking about it, we do need to buy a pressure washer. As soon as I see that tractor, I think, yuck. Uh, not because it's Massey Ferguson, I love Massey Ferguson, but the fact that it is filthy. So yes, if we can afford a pressure washer after buying a rake, we will do. Uh, because <laughs> it's a state and it's actually quite embarrassing walking around driving around with this thing. Okay, so I need to find the wood chip storage point. I've been to it. I've been to it in my map first look video. But I've forgotten where it is. Because there's just so much detail on this map, it's hard to remember it all. So, bear with me. Alright, I think I have found our storage point. It is over with the pigs and the beef. In the same yard as that, which is just up the road from our main yard here. So, looking at it actually, we might need to use a bucket to get this into the trailer. So, I did say we didn't need to use a telehandler again, but I think we will have to. So, if we can just position this in a suitable place, then that would be very good. Uh, and then I'm going to have to obviously buy a bucket for the telehandler. It's always whenever I say we don't need a machine again that we need it again. It just seems to be another habit which I tend to get into. Right, it should be okay there. We will switch the engine off. And we're going to have to walk. Because I have no get about vehicle here. It's at the other yard. And yeah, we're not going to just fly across the, the uh, map. So, see you in a second. It's not too far. But I wish I had uh, taken it with me on Follow Me just to bring it back again. It would have been easier. Okay, here we go. Start it up. And we're going to have to go to the shop to pick up the bucket. Uh, I might actually just put these uh, pallet forks in the shed where I've just taken this from. It's a good place for them. If we put them right at the back. And what we need to do is drive to the shop and then we'll buy the bucket. Here we are. So the trigger is just over here. I thought it would be better to do it this way rather than just pressing P and buying the machine that way. Um, I have to get the right one though. We have to speak to a representative inside. Okay, so. Telehandlers. Universal bucket. £1,800 for a universal bucket. Let's get that attached and then we'll be able to load up those wood chips. We don't really have that many, but money-wise, there is quite a bit there. This is where you've got to get it right, you've got to get it at the right angle, otherwise it jumps up. Still got a bit of a jump, but not too bad. Right, um, yeah, so when we've bought this rake, eventually, um, we'll see if we can afford the pressure washer. We, we do need to get one, seriously. All these machines are really muddy after being in the forest. Here we are. Should only be maybe eight bucket loads. It's really not too much. That might even be an overestimation. Depends how big this bucket is. Oh yes, it's gonna be two bucket loads. So I've got that totally wrong. Let's put it into gear two. And we'll fill that trailer up. Don't know why it sort of touched the trailer there, because nothing is touching. 
Unless it was just my uh, front wheels. Maybe the front wheels were hitting it. And uh, is that everything? I think it is. So we'll get this loaded up as well. This time I'll do it out of cab view. Yeah. Even if it doesn't touch, it still thinks it does. I think there is probably... I think the model actually goes higher of the trailer. And then it's like invisible on top. Because if you stand on a trailer, the farming simulator, uh, you can't actually go inside it. You sort of stand in mid-air. Which I've always noticed from the very beginning. Okay, so that is done. Engine off and beacon off. Let's go and sell these 9,000 or so litres of wood chips. It's basically 39%. Uh, Actually, I don't think I did get everything there because we had 9,000 or so litres. So, oh well, we'll still have enough. All we need to do is gain about... Well, we need a pressure washer as well. So probably 10,000 would be good. And this is our one just here. So let's see how much we get from this. Come on, it's got to be 10,000, please. Okay, it wasn't. It was It was pretty much 9,000. We have enough for the rake, and that is the important thing, because that is the job we're going to have to do. Uh, we already have the baler, which is really handy. Yes, the baler we start off with is the round New Holland baler. Which is actually going to be very good for this map, because we do need to get some round bales. Um, yeah, I just keep checking that the indicators have gone off, because I've got the auto-cancelling indicator mod. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's very strange, it's, it's like an intermittent mod, but uh, usually it does work, but today it isn't. So, I don't know what's different. But, the plan now is just to go back to the yard with this tractor, uh, to the store, sorry, and pick up the rake. And then take the John Deere with the baler to fill number 13 and set them both off and follow me. And we'll just go around the headland once today, just to sort of start things off. And then next week, we will be able to finish the field, get all the bales moved. And yes, then that field will be completely done. It really has turned out to be quite a big field. When I first saw it, it didn't look too big. Okay, back to the store. So here we are. Let's go and uh, speak to the sales manager and we'll see if we can get a deal. Um, yes, yeah, so the rake. We want to go for the Pottinger. And oh, I've got stuck on a, a, a 2D case quad track. I don't know if you've noticed, but top right hand corner of the screen, we've got a number two there rather than a number one, which is usually there. That is the soil mod interval. So that is basically the number of times, or the number of days between each update of the soil mod. So it updates every two days instead of every day, which should basically make everything a lot easier, a lot more manageable and controllable um, instead of having tons of withered and completely weeded fields. So to put it in a nutshell, it makes it easier for me. But it's better than uh, having totally withered fields. It looked terrible. We're ready with this tractor. Now we need to find the baler, which I have incidentally lost. Um, so we better find that. Uh, where is it? I've lost my baler. In fact, I've not even seen the baler. There is one, though because I've seen it on our garage page. Okay, it's here. 
it is down, it's not near the main yard. So that is going to be interesting finding that. Let's walk to our John Deere and we'll go and pick it up. Here's the John Deere. Open the door, jump in, and let's start the engine. So yeah, somewhere around here, we're going to have to go and find it. I would have thought it would be in, well, somewhere around the back of here, but not through there, I don't think. Is that, that's not the way, is it? No. Now, I'm very confused. I'm not used to the farm yet. It's just too, too detailed for me, which seems a weird thing to say, but... It is very detailed. That's a good thing. Just takes a bit of getting used to. Right, it's got to be back here somewhere. Probably in the shed. Yes, there it is. Good. So, yeah, no doubt about it, this tractor will have enough power because it had enough power for that chipper. In fact, I think this tractor is over 200 horsepower, which is plenty. We will attach it. And we'll go over to fill number 13. And begin raking and baling. Yes, it's going to be following me. We'll have the rake, and then we'll have the baler. The baler will be the one on the uh, worker, and we'll be driving the rake. That is, I think, the best thing to do here, and it should work very well. So yes, just once around the headland, just to sort of uh, have a bit of a taster of the field, see how, see how good it is. We will have to start the baler up. But the plan is to basically pull in three swaths of straw at a time when we're going up and down the field. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to, I don't know if this is the right width for that or not, but we'll give it a go. Looking at this it's kind of an annoying width, but you don't know until you try. <laughs> we'll have to see. Anyway, is that working? It is good. And it seems to be uh, having no issues at all with the power. Always good to see. I just, for some reason, detest seeing that insufficient power message come up. Probably because I do it with nearly every tractor. There goes the first one. That will be uh, in the uh, river at the bottom soon. Now I'm pretty sure the hedge will stop it actually. Yep, it's basically pulling two into one. So things should be speeded up by 100%. Which is quite efficient. The only thing is, you've got to remember not to go too fast because eventually, if it drops too far back, follow me will just stop. And you've got to do it all manually then. But yeah, this really shouldn't take too long. I'll either do it off screen between this week and next week, or we'll do it in next week's episode, first of all. I think we will do it on the video because, you know, it's part of it and it's not going to take too long. And hoping to get another crop in here fairly soon. But with soil mod running, obviously going to have to be very careful keeping on soil moisture, nutrients and weeds. Well already you can see we've got one, two, four, six, so far six bales. Pretty good. We're going to get a lot of bales out of this. The next thing we need to buy is an auto sacker. We've got such a queue of pieces of equipment which we need. Ah, oh, the bale actually didn't end up in the river. It has stopped just before it. We're very lucky. But that is our first time around. We'll stop there. We'll just wait for the John Deere to catch up and we will finish this next week. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week's episodes. We've only got two, but eventually it will be three episodes a week, hopefully. Um, yeah, a bit of a... a Diversified wheat, we've been doing some different stuff, a lot of it in the forest admittedly, but uh, I don't usually go in the forest too much, so it's not uh, really a bad thing. I quite enjoy doing that, because uh, otherwise it would have been two episodes bailing this, 
with the small rake because we wouldn't have had enough money. But that is almost done. You can see how frequently it's taking another bale out. It's fantastic. We should get some decent money from all this baling. There's the next one. And we should get maybe two more before the end. Yep, it does miss a bit here. Uh, but it's fine, we'll just plough it in. Next one is now. And, oh, you never know, we might even get three. It's so frequent. Now it's going to be one more in a bit. So close. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's episodes. It's not going to empty it. It didn't get the 1% because it's sort of triggered our, our uh, rake in front. But yes, until next week, thanks again and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.